Hello and welcome back to another episode of Farming Life at the Forge. Yesterday, mum and dad went off to sell a bull and they were supposed to come back with the trailer empty, but they didn't. So I'll show you that up now with what they bought on the way back. Then this afternoon, my calves, if you remember back um, a good while ago, I bought some calves to rear on the bucket for myself. They are now going to be moved up into um, the pen with the wainings. And so we'll show you that and we'll also show you We'll also show you the wainlands. Um, so they were weaned about a week ago and we'll show you how they're doing. They're between the shed and the field now. Some of them are out the field. And yeah, we'll also show you what we're feeding them. And then yesterday I started a project for the kid goats, which I'll be finishing off this afternoon once we've moved the calves. And hopefully I get it done today and I'll be able to get, show you guys in this video. Um, it's just a little toy for the kids that I'm making out of some scrap wood. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. went off this morning in the High Lux and the Murphy trailer and somehow they managed to come back with a tractor. So how they got in here, I don't know. So it's a very tight squeeze, <clears throat> but it's a Ford 2000 Preforce. Um, seems to be a very original tractor. And the exhaust is out the back, so that's the normal for all these older tractors out here. We'll be to have the exhaust come out the back. Let's see if I can get in a bit closer. So there you are. She's a very, very original tractor. Seat and all, even though it's a bit worn. But yeah. So I'll show you guys now when it's out. You'll get a better look at it. So there you have it, um, I'll show it to you now once we get it out, but you'll get to get a better look at it. But yeah, it's just not safe to let the two of them off.
uh, the old guy had that put that step on it there and we'll take that off. There's no need for it. Uh, she has do you mention that? The, the exhaust at the, the back. back, yeah. Uh with that light missing a few little bits and pieces. Uh for its edge, it's really intact. That's the light there. It's got the light there. And uh, he gave uh yeah, he put them tires on it the year before last. And they're Michelin. Uh, okay, don't. Someone welded that lift arm, but that's only a might get. I'll put in a lift arm in. That's the only thing I can see wrong with. Mud guards and all are good and firm. Oh, that's, that's for the beacon light. So. Whether it's working or not, I might take it off. It looks a clumsy looking at. So oh, that's it. The seat and all, it might want to cover, but the seat is all strung with it nicely. Yeah, it's very happy. It's nice to get them when you don't have to be buying all bits of bonnets and panels and whatnot. Okay. With my calves here behind me. Yeah, so these have gotten a bit bigger, thankfully. And it is time to put them down. They're going down to the big shed. So now that all the cattle have been let out, they're going to go down into the pen beside the Waylands for now. And then um, in about a week, they'll probably go in with the Waylands, and that way they'll all be able to be in the shed and have the run out the backfield as well. And as well as that, we'll be able to feed them with the Manitou. We'll be able to feed them with the Manitou um, rather than now still feeding them with buckets. So it'll be nice to see them getting a big run of a shed, but I'm a bit afraid to see them next to the, the limousine cows because I know that they're not as big. Um, but for bucket reared calves, that are not limousines, they're not too bad, I suppose. Good for a first attempt at calves, anyways. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to see them in a new pen and get the run of a shed, and later on, see them back out in the fields. So, we just have to move them now.
Okay, so I'm over here in my workshop. Um, basically, I have a bit of tidying up to do. It's all been clocks, 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 every order. So now um, the orders have calmed down. I haven't got too many, I haven't got any right now. So I'm actually going to be making um, something for the goats. So the kid goats like to climb. Goats love climbing. They'll climb on top of anything they can. So I'm going to actually make a little A-frame for them. Um, just to be nice to have it out where I'll show you where we moved the goats. Goats love that sort of stuff. I have my two happy helpers here. It's quite warm out so they are loving the cold concrete floors. I am back finishing up. So the first A frame, um, I have it stuck and nailed. I just need to add a screw in. This one now I need to stick a nail so it's all cut out. I wanna do it on top of the bottom one just to make sure that's exactly the same size and then just put it all together. So that's the idea of it. Kind of just looks like a picnic table. So I'm gonna have another few boards in here, have that nice and flat. And then here I'm gonna layer the boards with a gap and then I'll put another board over which will give a grip. And yeah, it'll just be boards the whole way up and along. I'm not gonna put it together here. I'm gonna kind of flat pack it so it goes in the car and bring it home and put it up for the goats. So this is the final toy for the kids. Now yeah, it turned out pretty well. I'm happy with it. So I just made it from our scrap planks that were there and they're already cut to size, two different lengths. So I used them. They weren't good for much else. They're real, real hard wood, but they're all cracked. Splish, wart. So yeah, I'll just go get the kids and we'll see if they like it. Well, they're interested in it anyways. So this is their new, hey. Hey you. So this is their new pen. So into there are the two pens with the lube attached onto it. And the two bigger pens. <clears throat> so we have all the kids now. All the first group are between this pen and they have to run out the pen in there. On the left, well, it's the left on the other side. And then the new ones are in on the right there. So they're all on the Louvre in the same spot. They can go in at night and it's nice and warm in there for them here. This is actually out in the bullshed. So it's nice and airy and bright. And uh, we've just done up the edges with some pencil that they can't get out. And then we have this trough here. Just 
the feeder. I'm going to put meal in it. And it's hard to see, but the meal comes out there. It's getting a bit late, but yeah, they seem to be enjoying that. this week's video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one